Here's the ball game. Browning. Being chased. Finds the lane. He's got the first down. Making his way to the end zone. Touchdown. Louisiana Monroe has pulled off the upset. Got some extra help. Dime coverage. Six defensive backs for third and four. Vic lost the football. Goes out of bounds. New Orleans did not have possession. It's still Atlanta ball, but it's fourth down. Fujita came in and freed it out of Vic's hand. And Byron Scott had an opportunity to pick it up and run it in for a touchdown. Michael's got the ball out loose, trying to straight arm. Fujita does a nice job. Byron Scott gets a good hop. Tries to scoop it with one hand and can't make the play. So much for the notion that Michael Vick will <laughs> run wild starting with the first play. Michael Kanan, who uh, has made a headline for missing six of his eight field goal attempts this year, is now back to just punting and kicking off. The former St. Morton Anderson is here for most field goals. Look out! Right through! A pick block by Steve Gleason! It is scooped and scored by Curtis DeLoach! very physical as the game goes on. Really relaxed. Ten minutes before this game tipped off. On the floor, nice footwork by the first big fella, Hanson. Well, they tried the backdoor cut. Horner got there. Here's Hamusk at the other end, and a foul. Uh, Lee couldn't get his. He's going to try and slip behind. Jaw. He got a KO in. He's not a TKO guy. And he cracks down that loose ball. Look at this kid. Wow! Hey, aren't you glad you didn't go out of the game, huh? Five on the shot clock. Good defense by the Demons. Horner with the jumper. Yes! Wow, what a dagger. Been most of the day. It's got to go through this guy. He can step and shoot, screen and pop out. Wow. And Bruner trying to help Tyro Mitchell. Underneath. Yes! One point game. What a great look. And throw line shooting one more. No. A chance for the lead or a tie. They go to the rim. For three. No. Loose ball in the corner. Three seconds to go. Yes. Oh, my goodness. At the other end, Haluska off the rim. Northwestern wins. To Alabama and Ole Miss. I didn't finish up at Arkansas. 
Kentucky has uh, Vanderbilt here next week and then we'll finish at Tennessee. Final play of the game. Shotgun formation. Three man rush. Randall stops, throws it as far as he can. Caught! Caught! Touchdown! I do not believe it! The Tigers pulled off another miracle. It was Devery Henderson who caught it on the last play of the game. Holy cow! Jim, that I've is never a, seen it that happen is before in my life. Unbelievable play I think I have ever seen in all the years. Their fans on the other end they can't to believe tear the ghost boats down. I don't think they realize LSU won it. My I think they thought goodness. Take the lead 17 to 16. 11 seconds to play. Burrow double O and Dodd 25 back for the kickoff. It'll carry short. Dodd at the 14. Running to get out of bounds. He does so with eight seconds to play. So the Saints with eight seconds left and all their timeouts will have to try to get in field goal range. Three receivers go long for New Orleans. Here's a pass. It's complete. He's tying a 63-yard field goal. Not only will uh, if Tom Dempsey hits this one, he's got a very slight win at his back. He'll set a National Football League record in addition to winning the game. I don't believe this. It's good. I don't believe it. The field goal attempt was good from 63 yards. Incredible! Tulane Stadium has gone wild. A 63-yard field goal. Top of it. 
Let's see, A.B., fourth and 19, pressure, he gets hit, loses the ball again. Recovered by Navy, it's not going to matter. Aaron Bo picks up the puck at center ice. Here he comes, goes to his right. Bo comes in, takes the forehand, shoots and scores! Aaron Bo goes top shelf, and in round two, it's one nothing ice skaters. Ingraham skates forward, picks up the puck. Ingraham over the blue line. Ingraham comes in, shoots and scores. Ingraham took his time, shot it up over Manilok. It's 1-1, we they through round three. Here comes John Deport. Deport with the puck. Comes in on Richards, shoots, scores! The ball just flipped it over the shoulder, under the crossbar, it's 2-1 midway through the shootout, round four coming up. Trevor Job, he's gonna take his time, he skates slowly. Job right up the middle, comes in, shoots, scores! Beats Manilok, high to the blocker side, it is tied at two midway through round four, here we go. Schwartz comes in. Schwartz, left-handed shot, fakes a slap shot, shoots, misses! The ice skaters come down to this! A goal, and they win the South Division. It's gotta be Ron Handy. Doug Shedden looking around the bench. Here he comes, the Wiley veteran, Ron Handy, with a chance to win the South Division title. Ron Handy with a chance to win it all. Here he comes. Handy up the middle, over the blue line. Looking at Richards, to the backhand. He scores! He scores! The ice skaters win the South Division title! Bedlam in the Cajun Dome. The Gators have gone from expansion to champions in just one year. I've been doing that move for about a century now. 50-yard kick now for Bear. For the win. Fifty yard field goal is good. Go crazy, Agent Cajuns. Here's Perry on what likely is the final play of the game. Nikosi going to sail it for the end zone in the corner. And it's broken up incomplete. The ball game is over. Skip Holtz gets the shower. Louisiana Tech wins their 10th. We've got our first shutout in the history of the Walk-On's Independence Bowl, and it's done by the Bulldogs from Ruston. guys in action. Oh, it's a trick play! Amari Jones! Trick play! Oh, oh they fooled him! And he works it out there midfield! I love everything about that guy! And he absolutely ugly dokes them! Oh my goodness! Amari Jones out of the pack with... Eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan launches down the middle for McCleskey! And he breaks free! Chuck now from the left point, worked in deep to 10 seconds. Puck stays in. Adams, a wrister blocked. Another drive. Adams, a drive shoved out there by Caster. Up top, point blank block. 
and that's it. The Mud Bugs win. Mud Bugs win. Mud Bugs win. Claws up. Claws up. Claws up. The Robertson Cup champions. The Mud Bugs have won the Robertson Cup. This party is for you, Shreveport. After every hard-earned win, the Shreveport Mudbugs are the last team standing. Ladies and gentlemen, Shreveport Mudbugs, your 2018 Robertson Cup champions. Careful. <laughs> Just can't go down and get it. Here it is again. What a great curveball. Now Warren Morris. Hits a deep drive down the right field line. That ball is gone. LSU wins the college world series on a home run by Morris. Friends, how improbable is that finish? That's the first home run of the season for Warren Morris in 76 at bats. He's the young man who had hand surgery in April and was back a month later. And here's why he made every effort to come back. The inspirational leader of this Tiger team takes a good curveball and hooks it into the bleachers in right field. A great hitter rises to the occasion to win the national championship. He went down and got it. Hands and eyes all in synchronization. He knows it's gone. And they do too. The junior from Alexandria, Louisiana, has given the Tigers their third national title. champs an offensive onslaught 628 yards and 
and the supreme confidence, the swag of this team in white, purple, and gold. Kirk, they backed it up tonight. They came in. I've never prepped for a game of this magnitude and felt a team as confident as LSU coming into this game. Me neither. Ever. And you didn't know if it would blow up in their face or if it would end up being true. As you see, they, they, they had a feeling of what was going to come tonight. It was back against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Week 16. When Garrett Hartley missed with five seconds left, a 37 yard try. That's when Tom Benson, the owner, thought it was good and that they had won. They eventually lost in overtime, 20 to 17. That was one of Garrett Hartley's two misses. He was just 9 of 11 during the regular season. One for one this postseason. Combine his career, regular and postseason, he's 23 of 25. Hartley sends the Saints to the Super Bowl. went to the blitz one more time and watch how they play the two wide receivers on top they stack them they pass it off and Tracy Porter gets the second race sits right on it and then it reacts and goes underneath tonight the two best teams in the NFL played another classic game congratulations to both teams but tonight the Super Bowl belongs to the city of New Orleans they're great fans And Tom, to you, to Sean, to your incredible team, the hope, courage, and inspiration you provided your community is inspiring. So thank you so much. Congratulations. You're Super Bowl champs. I don't know, Mr. Benson, how can you possibly put this one in the words, what this night means to you in the city of New Orleans? Well, I tell you, and not only the city, but this whole state. And Louisiana, by the way, in New Orleans is back. And this shows the whole world. We're back. We're back. The whole world's back. About to fall over here. Be careful. I know there's nothing that delights you more than being able to turn that trophy over to your head coach. Sean Payton. Uh, I think I could kiss him. <laughs> Sean, you got to tell us your team was down 10 nothing after the first quarter, and then you had some of the gutsiest calls. My partner Phil Sims talked about it. We've ever seen by any head coach in a Super Bowl. That obviously was born out of a lot of faith in this team. How did you do it? Well, we, we talked about it at halftime, and it's really uh, it's a credit to every one of these players here. There's not enough room on this stage for all of them, but they carried out the plan, and uh, I'm just proud. I'm proud of this team, the coaching staff, and uh, everybody 
Everybody back in New Orleans gets a piece of this trophy. Here we go. And to think that four years ago you came in, you brought this quarterback over from San Diego named Drew Brees. And I know you asked me, can I hand that trophy? It's time for you to pull off the handoff. I want, I want to hand this trophy to the MVP of the Super Bowl and the MVP of our league, Drew Brees. There you go. How did you guys pull off this comeback? We just believed in ourselves and we knew that we had an entire city and maybe even an entire country behind us. And what can I say? Uh, I've, I've tried to imagine what this moment would be like for uh, a long time and it's even better than expected. But God is great and we've got the best ownership family in the league, best head coach, best general manager and, and the best team and we proved that here tonight. And the MVP on top of it, you told us this week, this whole experience for you and your wife coming to New Orleans has been almost like a fantasy. It really has. How are you feeling about that tonight? Just feeling like it was all meant to be. It's all destiny. And um, what can I say? The birth of my son this year as well, the, in the first year of his life, we get a Super Bowl championship. Uh, he's been my inspiration as well. So just doesn't get any better than that. I know Mardi Gras doesn't officially really begin Mardi Gras nine days away, but this is going to be the longest Mardi Gras celebration in history coming up as soon as you guys get home. Congratulations, Drew. Thank you. Yeah, Mardi Gras may never end. The celebration's not going to end. There you go. The Vince Lombardi Trophy is in the hands of the New Orleans Saints. The Super Bowl champions will head back to the Superdome as the champions. And we'll continue with our coverage here on CBS in just a moment.